Hey guys, Eli here, and on today's video, I want to talk about why I decided to move my money out of Robinhood and put it into a more suitable platform. And we're starting now. So if this is your first time on this channel and you'd like to talk about personal finances and mindset, make sure you guys start now by hitting the subscribe button and also hitting that thumbs up and comment some of your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, the first thing I do want to say is when it comes to Robinhood, like they really changed the whole brokerage or stock market industry. Like I remember before, um, it actually cost like maybe if you were trying to place a trade for a stock, it would probably cost anywhere between $5 to $10. I know way back then it was like $20 for some trading platforms. But Robinhood came in and they changed the game and said, hey, listen, for every trade that you do, we're gonna actually make it free. We're not gonna charge you anything. So we're talking about before where people had to pay $5 per trade and now you're talking about zero dollars and now it's free so this brought a whole new wave of people a whole bunch of new millennials including myself to actually start trading on the platform now i've been on robin hood for about let's say um uh, for better about a good maybe three years on robin hood and of course i started with a little bit of money in there but over the years it came to a lot of money now a reason i say that robin hood changed the game is because remember those big brokerage accounts that used to charge anywhere between five to twenty dollars they actually charging nothing right now they're actually free because they were trying to compete now Robinhood came and gobbled up the market and all these other trading platforms they're like hey you know what if you want to stay in the game we're gonna have to make our our, our, our services free now at one point I actually had about thirty thousand dollars within the Robinhood trading platform now I always wanted to, to move my money away from Robinhood but they had something that actually interests me in there all right, and that's pretty much the first reason why I'm actually taking my money out. Well, I, I already actually took my money out. So the first thing is that 3% yearly interest rate that they normally pay off for all the money that I had in there. Now, that was the reason I decided to keep all my money in there in the first place, because at 3%, that's way better than any traditional bank that offers a 0, 0.000 whatever percent interest on your money. Robinhood offered 3% interest on all the money that I had in there, and they actually pay that out each and every month where you can actually see it grow each and every day now of course with all the interest rates going low and everything that's been going on in the world robin hood has actually scaled down the interest payments that they actually been paying so when it first started i was getting three percent yearly interest off the money i kept in robin hood and then they start scaling it back to like two percent now of course when everything happened like the pandemic earlier on this year in 2020 they kind of scaled it back to a 0.3 now before robin hood actually scaled it down i was actually receiving anywhere between 100 to 150 each and every month then of course they scaled it back and then that's when i start receiving anywhere between like nine dollars to ten dollars a month now me being the ultimate opportunist I actually looked around, shopped around, seeing if there's any other place that actually offers me more bank for my buck. And I actually found T-Mobile Bank where everything going on right now, and of course me being a customer of T-Mobile, they actually offer 4% interest on the first $3,000 that I actually have in there. And everything else after that, they offer 1%. And if you guys want more information about that, I made a video about it, which you can find right here. Now, the second reason I actually moved all my money away from Robinhood is because of security purposes. I mean. I had a lot of money. We're talking about $30,000. Well, to some people, that may not be a lot of money, but to most, that is a lot of money. To me, definitely, it's definitely a lot of money. But for me to have that much money in there, I felt like I needed to be more secure with my money. And good thing I made that decision as well, because if you've been looking at the news, Robinhood has a lot of security issues going on right now. So I'm actually glad I pulled my money out of Robinhood. Now, the third and final reason I decided to move my money away from Robinhood is just simply, I need somebody to talk to. Hello? I mean, if I have it in my, let's say, a Bank of America or a Chase, I can always contact somebody if I have an issue that I want resolved. But with Robinhood, there's nobody to talk to. Now, granted, they do have a system where you can shoot them a message and they'll reply back to you. And of course, I used it, but they kind of took their time. And I'm not going to say they took a long time. They just took the whole hour to reply back which is the equivalent of you actually calling customer service and waiting in line for a whole hour for somebody to get on the phone. But every time, I mean, it's okay if it's high peak hours and you, you can always make the decision, hey, you wanna call later on when it slows down. But we're talking about every time you call, it takes you an hour to get on. I mean, you can see where I get my problem from. So when it came to that, if I want an issue resolved quick, I want peace of mind quick. Now, I'm pretty sure Robinhood is gonna work on that in the future, but as for me, I'm happy with the services I'm getting elsewhere outside of Robinhood. 
Now, although I pulled my money away from Robinhood, doesn't necessarily mean I stopped using Robinhood entirely. I'm not using Robinhood to, you know, buy stocks or anything, but I do have a credit card with them and I do keep $500 in there just so I can use the debit card for business purposes. And at the same time, I do recommend it to friends and family members and even people on YouTube to actually download the app so they can actually take advantage of the free stock that they're gonna give. And speaking of that, if you go in the description below and you want some free stocks yourself, you can actually check out three different platforms that once you signed in, they'll actually give you either money or free stocks. But if you don't have time for that, you can always just hit the thumbs up button and help a small YouTuber. Now, as far as the brokerage platform that I'm actually using to buy and sell stocks, I actually started using TD Ameritrade. I feel it's much safer. I have more access to what I can do on that platform. And at the same time, it's free just like Robinhood. And, and the best part is 24 seven customer service. I can call anytime. I, I can actually call them right now and get somebody on the phone. You don't believe me? Just watch. Hey, bro, what's up, man? Hey, I want to check my account, man. Hello, Mr. Eli. Hey, you got that for me? Yes, I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. Just give me one moment, please, All right. okay? Th no doubt. You. Okay. How much I got in there? Uh, you got $3 million. Hey, hold on, man. It looks like I'm missing a dollar, though. I'm so Where sorry. That dollar? I forgot about oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. All, all right, there. all right. Yes. No doubt. Uh, okay, is there anything else? Hello? See, it's just that easy. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. If you guys found value in this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. And also, comment some of your thoughts down below. Let me know some of your experience with Robinhood or do you even use Robinhood. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.